All right, so this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a custom form into the landing pages feature. Now to do this, we're gonna actually embed an iframe uh, piece of code. And to show you an example here, I actually have Google Forms. And Google Forms is a nice starting point just because it's free and you can you know, style the background colors and all that. Uh, but under the send option, and then we'll click on this code icon here, we should see this iframe uh, code here. So this works best with an iframe just because a lot of the styles will be taken care of within it. If you're trying to embed, you know, let's say from MailChimp where they've got a, a big long string of HTML, um, you will need some CSS knowledge there because you're going to have to style it uh, later. But this keeps it simple. If your tool supports iframes, great. If not, that might be a topic for another video. Um, but for now, I'm going to copy this and we'll go back to the admin area here. And I have my landing page template open here. And of course, you can find that under marketing and landing pages. But once you have it open, we're going to click on this add block option here and we're going to add custom HTML. So let's paste that over. And then you won't see the preview here. You actually have to click this preview page just in the top right. Uh, but we'll see our form here. So it doesn't look the best though at the moment. Um, it's left aligned, it's got a scroll bar here. So let's go ahead and fix that here. The scroll bar here is due to the height. It's not quite the right height here. So if we look at our code here, we're at 536 pixels. Let's just set that to 600. And then we will refresh that and might take a sec. There we go. Now it fits, we just have to fix um, the alignment. Okay, so to do alignment, we're gonna add a new line here at the top of this iframe. And this will be an opening and closing style tag. And within the style tag, I'm gonna add, we're gonna style our iframe. So we just type iframe and then add curly brackets. And then we're gonna add margin and then set that uh, first to zero. This has to do with um, the vertical margins, but we're really after the horizontal margins that we want to change here. So putting auto as the second option here. So zero space auto, and then a colon, a semicolon here will make it so that there's the same amount of space on the left and the right sides. So let's go ahead and refresh and we should see that there now centered. So that is pretty much it. Of course you can get, you can get a little crazy here. You can, you know, make sure you add your logos, your colors, backgrounds, all that stuff. Um, to really make it match your brand. And of course, you probably don't wanna insert that right in the middle of your theme. <laughs> so kind of pick that uh, wisely there and then you should be good to go. So hopefully you learned something in this video. Thanks for watching.